Hey, good evening. Hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. How are you? Good. I'm fine. Cesar, how was your weekend? Um, very well. What did you do? Uh, well, I I was uh, in the birthday uh, with my girlfriend. So. Ah, okay. Is your birthday or your girlfriend's birthday? Uh, my girlfriend's birthday. Birthday. Ah, excellent. Yeah, we are celebrating that. Hey, that's nice. Uh, and what did you do? Did you? go out did you prepare a dinner what happened and no she she was in in a celebration i don't know but like um with her uh, friends and and a common friend so uh celebration cake music so only that in in the house of her hey good in her house in, in her, her house. house okay excellent excellent very nice Cesar. good all right okay so now what are we going to do now with our partners similar with me and Cesar, you are going to ask past tense questions you're going to ask follow-up questions what are follow-up questions is where you ask for more information for example i ask uh, Cesar, how was your weekend? But I ask more follow-up question, okay? Ah, what did you do? Whose birthday? Where did you go? What did you eat? This is the idea. This is the follow-up, okay? This is how you have a conversation. If not, only question and answer, but this is not conversation. Conversation is interaction. So we, with our partners, are going to interact and ask for our questions and follow-up questions. It's okay, the idea of follow-up questions? Yes, teacher. Okay, excellent. Okay, let's make the questions and follow-up questions with our partner. Any problems? Okay, so Karen, um, uh, what is it? Ana, Alejandra and Jose, we are talking with our partners about the weekend and asking and answering questions. Okay, asking and answering questions. Any questions?
Erson, do you have any questions? Do you have problems with the group? Um, no, teacher. Um, bueno, tenía problemas para ingresar, pero hasta ahorita estoy ingresando. Tenía problemas en la por eso. Ah, no hay problema, pero te ¿recibiste la invitación para unirte a los grupos? No, es que ahorita acabo de entrar. Ah, ok, ok. No, no, problema por eso. Ya, te, ya te lo vuelvo a mandar, no hay problema. Ok. Ah, ok. Ok. Miriam. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you, Miriam. In the groups, we are going to ask and answer past tense questions about our weekend. Okay. Okay. Okay, any questions? Algo que no se acordaban cómo preguntar o cómo decir? No. Teacher. Yes. When I, when I told in, in past, uh, I 
uh, I can use uh, the auxiliary di, uh, did, uh -huh, do, and pass did. Uh -huh. Did and the, uh, the verbs in past, it's okay. Uh, uh, yes, but not together. Is is correct. Uh -huh, uh -huh, correct uh -huh. Yes, uh -huh. but, but not together. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay. And today we are going to continue with idea for the past, but today we're going to look at use to. Do you remember used to? We began last week. Last week we saw the word used to. Do you remember what is the idea used to? It's in the past, but has a different meaning. Yeah, the meaning of used to. Solia. And you said that is solia, right? Solia, exactly. Before yes and now no. And Cesar, can you please read the objective for today's class? Okay. Build English conversational skills with the phrase used to, which you can use to describe your childhood or past. By the end of the class, you will be able to form questions, question statements, negative, and short answer with used to. Learn English phrases like, what sport did you used to play when you were a kid? Did you used to collect things when you were a child? And what do you use to to do? What do you use to do for fun when you were a kid? Okay, thank you, Cesar, very much. Excellent. And the idea is this: if you see in sentence, we use used to with the. In questions, we use use, no used, used to and the verb in present. So always for questions, for example, we say, did you used to play? It's example here. Did you used to? And then the verb in present or here, okay? Did you used to? And the verb in present. Did you used to collect? Or here, did you used to? And then the verb in present, do. Always in questions, the verb in present. But in answer, uh, the verb in past. Yes? I have a question. Yes, Miguel. Uh, mm -hmm. Always when I I do a question with used to, is necessary use the did or not? It's a rule. Yes, it's, it's necessary use did because remember, did is the auxiliary for past. Okay. And used to. And used to is the verb. Okay, I and think used to is auxiliary. No, no, no. Used to is the verb. Like in English, uh, work or study in the question, always in present. No, uh, did you use to, or did you studied? Did you work? No, the verb in present, the same for used to. Did you use to, and then another word. The difference is they used to is a specific form to say solia. That means is necessary, not only did. The function of used to is before yes and now no. Or in the negative, you can say also the questions in negative. Okay. It would be okay. didn't. For example, you can say uh, uh, what didn't. For example, what didn't you used to watch on TV? Ah, because maybe you were a child, okay? Or maybe for the food. What food, right? What food is normal for the children? What food didn't you used to eat? You can make the negative question, okay? For here, for WH questions is obligation sentence. It's obligation sentence, okay? But if it's not for uh, information question, it's only yes, no, then the question did, okay? Did you used to go? Did you used to see? Okay. Did you used to watch TV? Did you used to play sports? 
Okay. In this case, uh, is like the the use is uh, an adverb, right? Correct. Mm -hmm. It's for the time. Exactly. Yeah. This is the idea for the time. Mm -hmm. So I can say we are going to practice as an example in this moment, we are going to practice making WH questions and yes, no questions. The WH questions, I can be, for example, Diego. Diego, what cartoons did you use to watch on TV? Um, I used to watch I used to I used used to watch uh, cartooning in TV, for example, in Cartoon Network channel. Okay, all right. So there, I used to watch Cartoon Network channel, right? I used to watch uh, Bob Esponja. I used to watch whatever. Okay, or I make a yes no question, yes no question, Miriam, Miriam. Did you used to have a toxic relationship? <laughs> okay, uh, yes, I I used to have a Okay, I used to have a relationship when I was a uh, young. Good. Yes, I used to remember there are two forms. Very good, Miriam. Yes. Okay. Yes, I did. Or like medium, yes, I used to have a toxic relationship. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's okay, todos tenemos un ex, tranquila. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yes, okay. No por algo es el ex, it's okay. <laughs> or I can say, Cesar, hey Cesar, did you used to practice English? Oh, hey, I really... Uh, really, I used to hate English. <laughs> there. And that's it. Now with our partner, we want to have this conversation. We want to learn about the past. But with used to, used to WH, used to positive, used to negative, used to statements, used to answers. Queremos manejar el used to como que es natural. Oh, what did you use to eat? Where did you use to go? I used to visit. I didn't use to. Everything. It's okay? Any questions? Any, any problems? Alguien que todavía no le quedó bien cómo hacer la pregunta? I don't respuesta? know, but... Yes? Uh, I don't know, but uh, in the... When you answer uh, in a com complete form, you modify the, the only the used to, right? And add the L and in used. So Correct. The, only, only the D. That's yeah, it. The, the next verb is in the uh, original form, right? Correct. It's in the present form. Exactly. Oh, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. So, as an example, Cesar, I used to, okay, I used to uh, go to kindergarten. I used to color with crayons, okay? Now, no. Or in the negative, I didn't used to watch horror movies. Now, yes. It's okay, me, guys? Me, teacher. Yes, yes, Yancy. Eh, no, como voy entrando a la clase porque estoy en el trabajo, entonces no comprendí mucho ¿Por qué se utiliza el just to? Excellent. No. Don't worry. Uh, Ana Lisette is going to explain. You said the used to when the past uh, the asking or question. Okay, for the past, but why different from did and used to, Annalisa? What the difference from did and used to? Annalisa? 
¿no? Sí comprendí eso, pero no, no, no sé cómo explicarlo. It's okay, me llega, me llega. Sí comprendí, pero no lo puedo decir. Ok, <risa> excellent. All right, Let, no problem. Let's see. José Isaías. The difference with used to and did. Uh, I think the difference is did is an, ax an auxiliary and used to is adverb, I think. Okay, good. Very good. And Yancy, in Spanish, for us, the used to is solía. Solía. Uh -huh. ¿Qué significa solía? Que antes sí y ahora no. Yo solía vivir solo. Yo solía ser soltero. I used to be single. I used to live alone. Now, no. Pero no es igual como decir usualmente. No. No, ¿verdad? Ajá. No, no, no. Usualmente es como ahorita y solía es antes. Exacto. Usualmente es okay. normal, tu rutina. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, sí. Yancy, usualmente te bañas. Todavía lo sigues haciendo, ¿verdad? Okay, okay. ¿Eh? Pero solía significa que ya no te bañas. No, Esto chuca. Ya no, ya, no, ya pesta. Eso es, okay. la, es el used to. Ok, teacher, gracias. Hey, you're welcome, Yancy. Excellent. Ok. Now we are ready. Ok, remember is the two forms, WH and did, right? Did you used to or what did you used to? Where did you used to? Donde solía vivir? Where did you used to live? Different questions. All right, let's go with our partners.
Okay. It's okay. Any questions? Any that you are not sure? It's okay, teacher. Yeah. It's teacher, okay. I have a question. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. And, and if I want to ask where, ¿qué, ¿qué cosas te gustaban cuando eras pequeña? Excelente, excelente. Vamos a ver, ¿alguien le puede ayudar? ¿Cómo formulamos esa pregunta? ¿Qué cosas te gustaban cuando eras pequeño? What things uh, you used to like when you are a child? Ah, muy bien. Te, se olvidó una sola palabra. What things? What did you? Did, did. you? Yeah, there you did go. You, did you? Did you used to like when you are a child? When you are a child, Obi. What is the correct? I put in the chat in this moment. Oh, okay. Karen, it's okay? Yes, teacher, pero me confunde un poco saber en qué momento va el did. Porque... In in, in... ¿Perdón? Siempre va a ir el did. No, claro, pero, pero ¿en qué orden? Porque Siempre yo pensaba que era el... Porque, ¿Siempre qué, perdón? Antes de la persona. Ah, ok. Antes de la persona maldita. Sí, entonces puede hacer preguntas específicas. What food, what movie, what cartoons. Esos son preguntas específicas. Pero el did siempre va a ser antes de la persona. Entonces, a veces no vas a tener preguntas específicas. Simplemente vas a tener what. Y vas a poner did. What did you use to watch? O a veces vas a tener algo específico. What movie did you used to watch? What cartoons did you used to watch? Pero el did, si te fijas, no importa en qué tipo de pregunta, siempre es antes que la persona. Ok, y en este, este ejemplo, contestaría, I was used. O sea, eh, lo otro es que si cambiaría el verbo used to, es decir, que le agregara de, ¿verdad? Correcto. Aunque ocupe, aunque ocupe el singular was. Perdón, el no auxiliar was. No vas a ocupar was. Ah. Okay. Vas a usar used to. I used to. Y vas a poner tu acción. I used to like, I used to watch, I used to, lo que sea que estás contestando, vas a hacer después de used to. Entonces, por ejemplo, vas a poner, I used to like, en este caso, tal cosa. I used to like uh, nachos, I used to like eh, doritos. Que yo me confundo cuando ocupar el I was y cuando ocupar el used to. Porque yo comprendo que el used to es en pasado de lo que yo solía hacer. Exacto. Y el was es yo era. O yo ah, estaba. Okay. No yo solía. Uh -huh. Ok. Entonces, si en esta pregunta hubiera dicho, I, I was like, este, por ejemplo, I was like uh, the toys, por ejemplo, no sé. Está, no. está mala la respuesta, ¿verdad? Sí, correcto, está mala la respuesta, porque was es ser o estar, y no puedes okay. estar gustando algo. O sea, sí, entonces solo va a ser el verbo. Hay, en el caso que quiere usar esa respuesta, va a ser I liked, y lo que te gustó. Right? I liked, y lo que era. Okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome, Karen. You're welcome. Now, let's check to see if we understand the correct way. Here, this is 1.14. 1.14, which is the correct question? The first is the second. Okay. One, only one is correct, not two. Remember, you used to worry about money when you were younger. So only two? Only number two. Why? Because we use did, no D, no D used to. Only use. Teacher, eso dije. The ah, second. The first is the second, dije. El primero es el segundo. 
Por eso la primera pre pregunta es la segunda. Oh, I understand, I understand. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Tener razón, si te entendí ahora. <laughs> yes, uh -huh. correct. The first answer is number two, correct. Yes. And the second answer, what the number two, what is the correct? The first one. The, uh, the first one. Okay, good. And here, what is the correct question for this for this answer? What is the correct question for this answer? The first one too? The first one too. Okay. And number four, how do we complete this question? The second. The second one. Okay. Yeah, the second one. Ah, excellent. The second <laughs> one, the first one, exactly. Here, very good. Excellent. <laughs> Any questions? I have a question, teacher. Yes, Jose. Uh, in the negative uh, form, uh, we... We can use D or no, and use it too. Yeah, you can not did, but no. you use didn't. So Jose, in the negative, you are going to use didn't. So as an example, I didn't, I didn't use to watch uh, TV. Okay. Or in the question. Or in the question, what, um, what movies didn't you use to watch? So you can use the negative in question or sentence. Okay, teacher. Thank you. You're welcome. Jose, remember that you see, always you use the auxiliary, the use, no D. The use, no D. Okay, thank you. Okay, any other questions? No. Okay, no. excellent. Excellent. This means now we are complete, we are finished with section one. Look, section one is complete. Today we begin section two. And what is section two? Ah, today is count and non-count nouns. Here in section two, okay? Let's take a look. Oh. Hey. Miguel Antonio, can you please read the objective? Yes. Learn how to describe problems in English. In English, using count and not count nouns by the end of this class, you le learn how to describe problems in a city using phrases like too many, too much, less, less, fever, fewer, and you know, you know, and more. Uh, you also learn about common notes, notes, including water, oxygen, English, traffic, milk, soccer, sunshine, it, etc. Et cetera. Et cetera. Mm -hmm. And understand how to tell if a note is count or not count, an English or a comp comprehension audio excites. Is exercise. Exercise is included. Thank you very much, Miguel. Thank you very much. Excellent. Now, as you can see, today's topic is count and non-count. Okay. Count and non-count. Alguien se acuerda? Anybody remember what is count or non-count in English? Los que se cuentan y los que no se pueden contar. Excellent, Alejandra, lo que se cuenta y lo que no. Pero en inglés, ¿qué es el, 
¿Qué es la diferencia en lo que se cuenta y no se cuenta? Es un poco diferente al español. ¿Alguien sabe cómo sabe o cómo identificar cuando es count o non-count nouns? How much, how many? Excellent, this is one. How much, how many? Excellent. Mm -hmm. Ejemplo, there is enough. Enough, okay, okay. What about money? Money, do we count or no count? No count. It's a count. It's not count because money is to refer to all money. <laughs> I don't know, but not specifically the the cents, right? Because the cents, you can say, uh, for example, uh, how cents do you have or how dollars do you have? But the money is um, an abstract name, right? Correct, correct. And this is the difference. In English, the count no is one, two, three, four, five. Is the word, if the word is singular or plural, we are going to watch a small video to help us understand a little more. Let's watch a small video. Cars, subway lanes. We'll do this by using count and non-count nouns. Let me give you a quick example of this. There's too much traffic in my city because there are too many cars. You'll also listen to an audio program which illustrates how this topic is used. First of all, nouns. What are nouns? Well, nouns are people, places, or things. Pretty much everything that you see around you is considered a noun. And what are we... Okay. He talks a lot, but let me explain. Here, if you see count nouns, look, S, 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 S. Non-count nouns, no S, no S, no S, no S. Count nouns, many. Non-count, much. Count nouns, fewer. Non-count, less. The two more, but in count nouns, aren't for plural. And non-count isn't for singular. Is okay? A non-count is singular. It's singular, the idea. Okay. For example, we can count things like a pen, a computer, a bottle, a spoon, a desk, a cup, a television, a chair, shoe, a finger, flower, camera, stick, balloon, book, table, etc. Another thing that I would like to mention about count nouns is that we can easily change these count nouns into plurals by simply adding an S. Now let me point out what non-count nouns are. And just like I mentioned previously, count nouns are all of those things that you can count. People, places, or things that are easy to count, such as cars, subway lanes, or buses like we see on the example. Now, with non-count nouns, what that means is that we're going to look at now. Okay. Él habla mucho. Okay. <laughs> here we have non-count nouns. For example, here, he explains a lot, but let me give you an idea. There, all of these are non-count that he says. Okay. Es difícil acordarse todo lo que él menciona consider this non-count nouns. So okay. if we think about things like... Okay, so all of these are non-count. But in general, it's easy to remember non-count is three, three topics. Liquids, gases, and grains. Liquids, water, petroleum, gasoline, juice, coffee, chocolate. This is one. Number two, Grains, spaghetti, pasta, rice, beans, okay, grains. Number three, gases, oxygen, helium, and nitrogen, gases, okay? So in general, the three grains, gases, and liquids non-count. 
with non count remember we use singular is in the question is there any gasoline is there any chocolate is there any juice is there any pasta non count is countable are are there students are there televisions are there cars okay count are non count is medium do you have a question yes teacher uh for a uncountable nouns okay. for example liquids if you if you are a specific uh, uh for example would you like a cup of, cup of coffee mm -hmm. uh, is different but if you talk about uh a generally uh generalizar mm -hmm. uh, a liquid is a non -countable, countable okay all right mm -hmm. medium always is uncountable the always always the difference is your container okay for example you say cup cup is cup the no important coffee chocolate is the cup you count the cup one cup two cups three cups the same bottle a bottle is a bottles you don't count the liquid you count the bottles this is the difference non uh, is the product okay okay thank I, you I thank I you I have a question, teacher. Yes, Miguel. For example, with uh, gasolina. Yes. Uh, when I go to a gas station and say, give me five liters, liters of gasolina, uh, is a count or not is a count because I have a number for how many no, no, no. liters? Gasoline, gasoline always is non-count. Okay. But liters are count. Okay, liters is a count, but not the gasoline. Correct, because okay. five liters is five liters. Okay. No important five liters milk, five liters gasoline, five <laughs> liters juice, but the liters count, not the gasoline. Okay. Hmm? Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. It's clear for me. Okay, excellent. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. So let's look some more information. So here, remember, liquids, gases, uh, for example, grains, sugar, rice, flour. This is non-count, okay, non-count. Here, we're going to listen to some examples how to use in questions and answers. Goal of this class is to learn how to express problems that exist within a city, for example, there's too much traffic in my city because there are too many cars. And we want to use count nouns and non count nouns to express uh, those ideas. So we're going to listen to that and I will have you answer a couple of questions about that. The buses are old and slow and they cause too much pollution. In cities with less pollution, people are healthier. There are too many cars. All the cars, taxis, and buses are a danger to bicyclists. There is too much traffic. Se fijan que siempre que escuchan there are, van a escuchar una palabra con S. Siempre que escuchan there is, van a escuchar una palabra sin S. That there is is non-count. There are is count. There should be fewer cars, but I think that the biggest problem is parking. There just isn't enough parking. The last thing that I would like for you to do now is to answer some questions about your city. And what I would like for you to do is to tell me whether there is a lot of traffic in your city. So I'm going to ask the question, is there a lot of traffic in your city? Are there many buses in your city? Are there enough police officers in your city? Is there too much pollution? 
in your city. And as you're answering these questions that I just posted, I want you to identify the nouns that I'm using. So tell me whether. Okay. Let's look at this. Miren las preguntas. Cuando usamos is there and cuando usamos are there. Is there? Cuando, cuando lo va a usar is there? And it's a non count name. Correct. No. Non count. Singular. Only singular. And for are there? Or count nouns. Count nouns or plurals. Correct. For count nouns. Okay. That is the important. Singular is there. Plural are there. Okay, the difference count are non count is. Okay, how do we know the difference? Remember, gases, liquids, grains, non count. In English, no es uno, dos, tres. Es la palabra tiene singular o plural. Entonces, si tiene plural, significa que es count. Si solo hay una forma, is non-count. Por ejemplo, en inglés, noticias. I'm going to watch the news. News termina con S, pero no tiene una forma singular. Entonces, como solo hay una forma de escribirlo, es non-count. Ok. Yo tomo leche. No tomo leches. Como solo hay una forma, is non-count. Como mencionaron algunos compañeros, sí, yo lo puedo contar, claro, pero no estoy contando la leche, estoy contando el contenedor, un litro, una vaso, un vaso, una botella, el, eso estoy contando, no importa el líquido, no importa lo otro, porque el otro es non-count. It's okay? Okay, in this moment, we are going to make six questions. Six, three is there and three are there. Three counts and three non-count questions. Okay, y que vamos a preguntar? Problemas en nuestra ciudad. Problemas en nuestro pa eh, país. Is there, okay, y diferentes cosas. Is there, are there, de nuestros vecindarios, de en donde vivimos, de nuestros trabajos, diferentes cosas, okay? Is there a pharmacy, okay? Are there, are there traffic, are there hospitals? Por ejemplo, para mí, hospitales necesario. Are there hospitals in your neighborhood? Ah, is there policemen? Is there, is there a police station? ¿Verdad? Es importante tenerlo en el vecindario. So in this moment, three and three. Three questions is there, three questions are there. Trabajemos con el compañero a ver si podemos crearlos. You ready? Yes, yes, I'm ready. Yes, yeah, ready. All right, let's do it. Yancy, you okay? Eh, teacher, no sé, pero es que quizás tengo, como estoy en el trabajo y el inter no me está funcionando, solo me aparece el micrófono, pero no me puedo meter al, al grupo para, no hay problema, para integrarme. Yancy. No hay problema, Yancy. Tranquila, ya te vamos a ver. Te mandé otra solicitud. ¿Te llegó la otra? Ahorita, David. Sí, no. Ah, sí, sí, sí.
Okay. It's okay how to make the questions. Is there and are there? How do you say perro callejero? Uh, stray dog. The word is stray dog or stray. Okay. Okay, I got it. Remember, the important for today is remember with count, with plural, we use many, fewer, more or are with non count or singular we use much less more or isn't okay don't worry tomorrow we are going to practice and continue the important is today we finish unit one and you practice more the count and non count tomorrow okay Okay, okay, good teacher. Thank, Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good night. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Have a good night, too. Thank you. Have a good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.